Welcome, Stalkers. It is I once again, the Devil Reaper, back with another Nightmare Box episode 2 of the series. It always feels like such a long time since the last one, but I guess that's the anticipation. Of course, who loves anything more than opening a box full of masks and horror goodness? All thanks to my very good friend, Ty. Check out his YouTube channel here, because it won't be long until I'm sending him his box as well. And I'm sure you guys would love to check that out. Well, let's get to the point. If you're not familiar with the Nightmare Box video, probably because you haven't been stalking it, which I'd totally recommend doing so. Pretty much what we do is send each other a little cheeky box twice a year. And this box will be filled with masks and horror goodness. All of the things us kind of people enjoy, indeed. So what we're going to do in this video is a two-parter. In this one, I am going to model whatever masks and stuff is in the box. And then I'll do a quick second video where we show everything in more detail. So be sure to check that one out when it is released. So, here is the box. As you can imagine, there's quite a lot of fun stuff inside. So I'm going to stop going on and I'm going to show you what's inside. Take a look. So first of all, I thought I would show you this uh, without wearing it because it wouldn't really go with the robe and well, I don't feel right disrobing right now so we're going to go ahead and just show you it as it is. This is the Trick or Treat Studios Orphan Killer Mask. I did recently release a video of my produ screen production mould. Um, Orphan Killer Mask, and um, what I'm planning on doing is a video comparing the two, so we won't go into too much detail about them. What I'm going to tell you is, I love this thing. I love the film as well, and if you guys haven't watched it, it is available on YouTube for free, so check it out on there. Definitely. And there's this thing. <laughs> if, if you know me quite well, um, you know that I do love my alien masks, especially the Easter Unlimited ones. And this one comes with one of those spider tags as well. Quite sadly, the person who previously owned the mask decided to trim the tag short. But it has got the uh, little eggshell eyes intact, and that's what counts. A very nice fine tie. And next we have a cotton shroud grin. Oh man, I love this mask. I, I do love all of these early Fun World masks. There's something about them that gives it a bit of a uh, Scooby-Doo vibe. I'm sure you guys would probably agree. And just to give you an idea of how it looks under the hood. Oh man, I love this thing. Everything Con Shroud is just... Mm. And the Melty Ghost. Not a Cotton Shroud like the uh, Grin, but... Oh man, I love the sculpt on this thing. Just check it out. Definitely another mask that's worthy of a Scooby-Doo villain. It reminds me of those uh, two ghost characters in uh, Scooby-Doo. And the R.I.P. Skull, or I guess, as we call it now these days, RIP. I absolutely love this thing. It gives me um, Misfits vibes, I don't know about you guys. I do love the Easter Unlimited Skull Mask, though. there's something about them. I'm going to have to try and hunt some more down. Definitely all of the very colours. And a lovely Tate. Oh, guys, I love this thing. I want to know what went through the head of the person who designed this. <laughs> it's like they just decided, um, you know, I'm going to make a, a ghost who looks like he's on crack. Either that, or he's just sat on a, a surprisingly comfortable, comfortably large dildo. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's one or the other. And the goofy ghost. Oh man, what a classic. I feel like out of all of the uh, early Fun World masks, this sculpt encapsulates everything that is 90s Halloween goodness. Especially in the fluorescent orange. Well done finding this one, Ty. Thank you. And it wouldn't be the same without a classic pale Goofy. And I believe this one is once again a cotton shroud. It's a very comfortable mask to wear, considering that it actually has a nose. So for once Easter Unlimited realised that for people who wear their masks have noses. And it would be nice to have a mask where your nose can fit somewhere. So well done, Easter Unlimited. It's good for you to understand our biology. 
So we're going to close the video with this very sexy print of me that Ty managed to ascertain at a Comic Con. I can't remember the name of the guy who did these. Is it Stephen LaRose? I don't know. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to stalk me by subscribing if you're not already doing so. And as always, share the scares and keep it creepy.